All right, chat. State of the game. There are mechanics coming with new Capenna. Hideaway will be happening. Threshold counters. No. One on new Capenna does it alone. Tabs on your back. We've added a threshold badge to make you keep track of cards that care about other cards. For example, the crocodile, if there are five or more mana values by your graveyard, attracts it. Okay, that's really nice. Oh, and it, it fills it in around the outside, too, so you can know at a glance. I like that. Ooh, and they're backfilling it for things like devotion as well. This is this is great. I think we want to call out how auto tap interacts with treasure tokens. As a rule, the auto tap will sacrifice treasure tokens for mana to play an ability. There's an added benefit to doing so. You can always manually tap your mana. More ways to purchase packs. You can buy multiple packs at a time with gold. What? Quality of life improvements in my magic arena? This is, this is crazy, chat. What? This is, we have technology. All right, here's the good stuff. Explorer. Explorer is a constructed, non-rotating, true to tabletop format using all the pioneer legal cards on Magic Arena. We'll feature the same constructed cues and events available for standard. It will begin with the same band list as pioneer, but we could need to manage it separately. It will be available in Magic Arena deck building with the game update available today. All right, so for, for deck building. Okay. Paving a path to Pioneer. It's official, starting with Capenna, our new non-rotating true tabletop format, which we're dubbing Explorer, will be available on Arena. So the patch, patch next Thursday, this will be available. Those of you who have played what is written in Midweek Magic, you're familiar with this already. Yep. It'll be best of one and best of three. Ranked, unranked, and constructed events. And specialty events like the metagame challenge. So this will fill in just like the premier play like we talked about. So how do we plan to get Explorer to Pioneer? Our goal is all Pioneer cards that matter. So when we eventually embrace Pioneer on name, you should expect to be at a point where where the decks you want to play will be available and added gradually. Starting late this summer with Historic Anthology 6 will include cards for both Historic and Explorer play. We want to stress that supporting Pioneer on Arena will take years to accomplish. All the cards that matter means we're working toward cards that are regularly played in Pioneer decks much the same way that Vintage on Magic Online doesn't contain every 2-2 two, two for 2 ever printed, but does contain all of the cards needed to mimic a paper Vintage format. Yeah, this is this is key, Chip. Yeah. A lot of people don't actually know this. I, I believe there are actually legacy cards missing on Magic Online too. So like... There will be some people that are act like, well, just having the playable cards doesn't make it real Pioneer, but like technically real Legacy and real Vintage don't exist on Magic Online, but it's like more than fine. Yeah. There's a lot of Pioneer legal sets that were intended for limited and multiplayer formats that aren't relevant to constructed play or become obsolete as better cards become available. Cards like that, as well as cards that have high development costs with little or no play in Pioneer will be low on our priority list. Never say never, but our priority on card implementation will be driven by what sees play in constructed meta. All right, chat. So this is, this is very clear and clean cut. If there is a card that you are dead set in wanting to play in Pioneer slash Explorer on Magic Arena, the only solution here is you need to qualify for the Pro Tour and make sure you top eight with whatever cards you want to be able to have on the platform. So it's a, ve it's a very simple, direct solution. Easy strategy, capable by anyone. You could dictate how these cards get programmed. Just top eight the Pro Tour with the Pioneer cards that you want. Now, onto the ban list. We plan to adhere to the Pioneer ban list, though there's times where cards could become problematic in Explorer because of the difference in card pools. If 
that happens, we will not rebalance or suspend the card. We will ban it. Good. Rebalancing and suspending cards are cool tools for digital first formats like Historic and Alchemy. Explorer is meant to mirror a tabletop format, so a card will either be playable or it will be banned. If it is banned in Explorer, it will follow the same policy when we ban a card in Standard, Historic, or Alchemy. Players will receive wildcard equivalents that they haven't received reimbursement for that card already. As we move closer to Pioneer, we anticipate cards banned specifically in Explorer will become playable again as we realign the ban list with uh, Tabletop. However, this does not affect our wildcard reimbursement policy with the launch of Explorer. We do not currently plan to ban any additional cards. So, um, at the risk of earning the Twitter spittle of Watsy Shill, it actually sounds like they have a good plan here. This is, this is just like, this is a good way to approach this. And I, I'm glad that it's happening as quickly as it's happening. And it sounds like they have a reasonable approach to how they're going to give us more cards in, in the future. Uh, you cannot play Explorer today, chat. Someone said you could begin, it says you could begin deck building with the game update today, but the queues are coming with the patch next week is my understanding. All right, these are things we talked about in the Premier Play update. Quality of life improvements. Cosmetics per deck. Count to 10. Say goodbye to boring days. You can only open packs in increments of 1 or 10. We have an open all button. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Thank goodness. Oh, thank God. Good God bless us, everyone. You'll always be able to see your vault progress. Sounds good. Lovely. Whoa, chat. We had not one, but two Magic Arena news updates today. And dare I say, they were both not even just acceptable, but... They, they were, they were good. I think is that is that the word I'm searching for. I think, I think the updates were good. I would I would use the, the I would I would use the good word. I think I think they were like genuinely good. Feels feels weird, man. Winota on release day sounds good. Sounds good, Winota. Will Explorer go away when we get Pioneer? Yeah, yeah. Explorer is a placeholder format, chat. It is a, we don't have enough on the format, on the platform yet to have something close to Pioneer. So we're giving you this now because people want it now. And we do want it now. I want this now. I'm glad they're giving it to us now and then working towards actual Pioneer. This is great. Lovely. Thank you, Watsy. Appreciate it.